What is FFmpeg and why do you need it for Audacity? Let's find out. So in this video, I'm going to take you through what FFmpeg is and why it's not there by default. I don't know. But for instance, if I go into file and then I want to import an audio file, uh, sometimes you get podcasts or Zoom calls as M4A files, double click. Oh, error importing. Without the optional FFmpeg library, Audacity cannot open this type of file. So audio files, some video files as well can't be opened without FFmpeg. So how do we get it on and in? Well, first of all, I go to Audacity and then I go to preference and I look for libraries and I'll see yes it's not found so I click download that's going to take me to this website where I can go to the installation section over here and then go ahead and find the installation for FFmpeg for Mac in my instance the same for PC then it'll take me to a download page where I can finally get the recommended download uh, which is a lot of text heavy reading it's a little package here that downloads that then I can run and it will install on my latest version of Audacity and I can get working with my advanced files okay once it's downloaded let's click and run the package like so on my computer going through and following all the prompts that I need Need, entering in my administrator password and allowing the installation to complete. Okay, fantastic. Now I should be able to go ahead and locate the library. Success! Audacity has automatically detected valid FFmpeg libraries. Do you still want to locate them manually? No, if you've done the job for me, Audacity. <laughs> don't don't make me go and do that job located there we go the library version is installed all is good click OK and now joy of joys if I go into file if I go to import audio and I look for that lonely M4A file that I couldn't import before double click and boom FFmpeg doing its magic and let's just have a listen to some of this audio like southern Africa yeah that's working that's playing that's imported a file that it couldn't do before so that Indeed, my friends, is what FFmpeg is and why you need it for Audacity. M4A files, some video files as well require it. And as you can see, once you've navigated through the text-heavy web pages that Audacity sends you to, you can install it pretty easily. Now, I'm pretty sure you like Audacity and you want to know more about it. 32-bit audio is somewhere on the screen now. Go and watch that video because it's all about how to work with 32-bit audio in Audacity and why you should. Let me know in the comments down below how you get on with Audacity.